Today we're taking Africa's fastest train, the 320 km per hour Alborac service, the full length of Morocco's and indeed the continent's only high speed line. So come along and let's check it out together. Mughaban and welcome back to Morocco. This is our second time exploring this North African gem and what a train ride I've got coming up today. Our journey starts in the country's largest city, Casablanca, and will end in Tangier on its northern tip, just 30 kilometers across the Strait of Gibraltar from Spain. I was constantly in awe at this beautiful country and its huge diversity, the massive differences between the old Medinas in Marrakesh and Fez, and then Casablanca with its very modern, cosmopolitan, European style. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here and can't wait to come back. Outside the city's main station, Gare de Casa Voyageur, you'll find many taxis, local bus connections and also Tram Line 1 with fast and frequent connections to the main tourist destinations in Casablanca. This station originally opened in 1923 in the old building with the clock tower you can see in front of me now, but received a massive upgrade, modernisation and extension which opened in 2018. This coincided with the commencement of the new Al Barak high-speed services that we'll be riding today, with Casa Voyageur being the southern terminus of the line. The station now comfortably serves millions of passengers per year on the high-speed, intercity, sleeper, commuter and airport express trains which call here. The departure hall and all facilities are located on the upper floor of the new station extension accessed by escalators and lifts. The whole station offers step-free access from street to platform. There's a really great selection of cafes, coffee shops and non-food shops up here. You should have no problem doing some last minute shopping before your trip. Down the far end are more cafes and the ticket office. This has both staffed counters and automatic ticket vending machines. Next to this is the first class lounge. We are granted access in here today as we're traveling in first class on an Alborac high speed service. It's a relatively small space with comfortable seating, a work area and a balcony. Complimentary tea, coffee, water and orange juice are also provided. Now, let me just take a moment to talk about something very important, mental health. I'm on the move for the majority of the year, and while some of you might think travelling non-stop is the perfect life, the reality is very different. It certainly takes its toll when you have problems to solve, deadlines to meet, and all while being away from your family and friends. That's where today's paid partnership with BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp is an online therapy provider who can connect you with an accredited therapist who is trained to listen and give you unbiased advice. You start by filling in a short questionnaire and are usually matched to a therapist within 48 hours. Also, if you don't hit it off with your therapist, you can switch to a new one at no additional cost. Making that first step can also be the hardest, so BetterHelp offers you the choice of therapy by phone call, as a video chat or even via text messaging if you prefer. Mental health used to be a taboo subject, but now it's seen as important as your physical health, so if you think you could benefit from therapy, then please consider better help. Over 4 million people have already done so and started living a healthier, happier life. For a 10% discount on your first month, click my link in the description below. 
Our train today is the 10 o'clock Alborac 1017 service from Casablanca to Tangier. We'll be taking the full route. You must wait until boarding is called for your train and then you can pass the manual ticket check and head down to the appropriate platform. Our train is ready and waiting on platform 4. Those of you who are au fait with European trains may think it looks quite familiar. In fact, it's just a rebranded French TGV Euro duplex. These double-decker high-speed trains are composed of two power cars, along with one buffet coach, two first-class and five second-class coaches. They have a top speed of 320 km per hour and a capacity of 533 passengers per set, but frequently run as double sets, increasing the capacity to over 1,000 per train. Let's check out our route from Casablanca up to Tangier today. Boarding is level with the platform, but unfortunately there are two steps down immediately after so wheelchair users will need to request the assistance of a ramp from station staff. Here you can see the wheelchair spaces, companion seats and accessible toilet all in the same area. The buffet is located on the upper deck so is not accessible to passengers unable to negotiate these stairs. Luggage can be stored on these stacks within the vestibules or at the cabin ends. The overhead racks on the upper deck are teeny tiny and are useless for anything larger than a coat or handbag. First class is in a 2 plus 1 configuration, mainly in airline style, with these posh red seats which we'll check out in more detail shortly. We depart exactly on time at 10 o'clock. This high speed trip is 323 kilometers in distance and is scheduled to take us 2 hours and 10 minutes of travel time, arriving at 12.10 p.m. The price starts from 129 Moroccan dirham for an adult ticket in first class. This is reduced to 89 Moroccan dirham for second class. Be aware though that all these tickets are dynamically priced and can increase dramatically if you book shortly before travel or even sell out. So book as early as you can to secure your ideal ticket. The Alborac high speed services depart from Casablanca every hour on the hour throughout the day from 6am to 9pm 7 days a week except at 1pm for some reason. Maybe it's lunchtime? If you want ad-free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews, then become a channel member from just £1.99 per month. Just click the link above now or the join button in every video. Thank you! OK, let's check out the seats. They are super comfy and well shaped and have a winged padded headrest and adjustable padded armrests. They also offer a good recline which is automatically adjusted with this switch. Legroom is excellent and there's an adjustable footrest down below too. A large and sturdy tray table can be deployed from the seat in front of you and this includes a drinks holder slash mobile device stand. Two European style power sockets are provided per pair of seats along with a small litter bin.
Individual reading lights are up above your head. And there are also window blinds. Great air conditioning. And finally, coat hooks. As with the French version, which is basically identical, the top deck can feel a bit cramped, but I feel they've made the best of this, as it's a very comfortable place to spend a couple of hours with all the amenities you could require. The first part of the route is not truly high speed and runs on upgraded tracks at a maximum speed of just 200 km per hour. We will make two intermediate stops en route today. The first is in the Moroccan capital, Rabat. Despite being home to the Parliament and the Royal Palace of Morocco, it's actually only the seventh biggest city in the country, with a metro population of 1.2 million people. Rabat Agdal is the main station in the city, which again was completely rebuilt and extended in 2018 to accommodate these new high-speed services. As we depart Rabat through a series of tunnels, let's go and check out some more of the train. The buffet was actually closed on this trip due to staff shortages, but it normally serves hot and cold drinks and snacks which you can enjoy in this stand-up bar area or back at your seat. There are two toilets located in each coach, one upstairs and one down. I found them all to be clean, tidy, fully stocked and working well. The upstairs ones are a little on the tight side though. Here's a quick look at second class which is in a 2 plus 2 layout. Honestly, it's still very comfortable in here and has all the amenities of first class, just with narrower seats and reduced legroom. I like the green seats too. All onboard announcements are made in Arabic and French. Some important ones were also repeated in English, but this was not everything. There's not a lot that needed to be announced though. Our final intermediate stop today is Kenitra, formerly known as Port Lyotte when Morocco was under French protectorate. Hubert Lyoté was the resident general from 1912, installed under agreement with the then Sultan of Morocco to repel the Berber rebel tribes. The city was also home to a US naval air base during the Cold War, but nowadays this city of 430,000 people's main claim to fame is Morocco's most important port for exports of fruits, fish, timber, lead and zinc ores. After Kenitra, the true high-speed line begins. It's 186 kilometers in length and will allow us to take advantage of this train's true potential, with most of the rest of our trip today being completed at between 300 and 320 kilometers per hour. We sail effortlessly past the cars and trucks on the highway. The ride quality of both the train and the track are excellent, we glide along at these serious speeds with the Atlantic coast in the background on this beautiful Moroccan summer's day. If you want to see what the normal intercity trains are like in Morocco, then check out my video where I travelled from Casablanca to the beautiful ancient city of Fez on the Al Atlas intercity where the doors don't close. Just click the link above now. Morocco has big plans for their trains in the coming years. These include making the line fully high speed between Kenitra and Casablanca and extending the line to Marrakesh. 
This would give the country over 1,500 kilometres of high-speed lines and reduce travel times vastly between the major population centres and tourist attractions. Today's journey is now drawing to a close, so let me give you my summary on this first-class experience from Casablanca to Tangier on board the Al Barak, Africa's fastest train. I really loved every second. Morocco made a great choice to invest in proper European know-how and state-of-the-art trains courtesy of France to launch Africa's first high-speed railway. They are clean, comfortable and have all the amenities you need for this route. They are also really, really great value for money. I do hope that Morocco can continue to build its high-speed network and connect this intriguing country more and more in an environmentally friendly way. They've certainly made a great start. We arrive exactly on time at 12.10pm. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so leave me a comment or send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Have you been on any Moroccan trains before? Which one did you try and on what route? How did you find it? Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it really helps. Tangierville station is another one that got the high speed makeover in the last five years. If anything, I think it's the most impressive of the lot and is situated around a 15 minute walk away from the historic city centre and a 5 minute walk away from the city's golden beaches. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Thank you.